Hello guys, Cortland here. Today we're going to show you how to start up an American Champion Citabria. Before we do that, there are two things that I want to, I want to mention. Number one is we're not going to be doing spin training or upset recovery, so I'm not going to be wearing a parachute today. The second is we normally put a pillow in the windscreen so that our students can learn how to operate a tailwheel on the ground. We're not going to show that pillow in today's video. So let's get started. All right, so as we get started here, we've buckled ourselves in with our five points uh, seat harness. Then we're always flying this airplane, no matter if we're in the air or on the ground. We always fly the aircraft. So to get started, we're going to pull the stick aft all the way and hold it with our hands. The next, we're going to run our checklist. Okay, we're going to turn it over to the before start. We're going to set our parking brakes. So we're going to press forward on our feet brake and then set our actual parking brake. The next thing that we're going to do, just verify that we ran a thorough pre-flight which we did, so we're gonna move on. If we have any passengers, we're gonna brief them on the safety features and the exiting features of this aircraft. The next thing we're gonna do is then uh, make sure our fuel selector is on, which is down on the left lower corner of the aircraft. We're gonna then set our mixture, our fuel mixture for our altitude. Now we are at a density altitude of about 7,000 here today, so it's not gonna be full rich. Then we're gonna uh, adjust the throttle, which is on the left-hand side of the aircraft, just about a quarter of an inch. And I'm always running a checklist. Good pilots will always use, use a checklist no matter how long they've been flying an aircraft. Okay, carburetor heat is cold. We're gonna verify that. And we're now gonna prime the aircraft. So we're gonna open the primer. All right. Okay, so we're gonna pull out that primer and give it a, a couple of shots of fuel. And all we're doing is introducing fuel into the engine so it has something to catch and start when we rotate the propeller. Okay, and we normally do six on a cold start and two on a warm start. There are three types of engine starts on any aircraft. We have a cold start, a hot start, and a flooded start. So we need to identify which one uh, our aircraft situation is. Okay, and that's the last pump. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn on the master switch. Okay, and the ignition switches. All right, we're going to let our aircraft spool up and our, uh, our electrical system warm up. Okay, and then we're going to go to the strobes. This allows everybody to know that we're starting the engine. Okay, and now we're ready to go. So we're gonna open up the window. We're gonna yell our clear prop, let everybody know that we're, uh, we're starting our aircraft. Clear left to right behind us. Clear prop! Now, this is where it kind of gets tricky. We're gonna hold the stick aft with our knees. Our left hand's gonna be on the throttle, and our right hand's gonna push the, uh, push the button, our starter button, and we don't have a key in this aircraft. And here we go. Once the engine starts and kicks over, we're going to move the throttle to 1,000 RPM and then check for all the engine instruments in the green. So we got 1,000 RPMs right here, and then we're just going to come across the bar and make sure everything is in the green. So we got oil pressure within 30 seconds, fuel on board, and temperatures and bolts are looking pretty good. Okay? All right. Avionics master switch is now going to come on. This allows us to talk back and forth. So this is where we're going to put our headsets on, guys. Okay, hope everybody can hear me now. All right, so now we've got our headsets on. We're going to get our weather and, uh, and adjust our, uh, our instrument panel for that. So let's get uh, our DPS up and running. Just a couple taps and we'll be good to go there. Then we're going to switch over, grab our frequency for Cedar City Airport today and for our weather as well. All Automated right. weather observation, 1550 Zulu. Wind calm, All visibility day. one zero. One zero. Sky condition clear. Temperature clear. two zero Celsius. Two zero. Two point one one Celsius. Got a good spread. Altimeter three zero three seven. Three zero Remark. three seven. Are right, we gonna adjust Into that now? Three zero three seven. 7 All right, now we're getting ready to go with taxi. And we're gonna we're gonna communicate with our guys to let everybody know we're about ready to taxi. We're left and right. 
Pine Cedar Traffic. Tabria T Bird 19 is on the south ramp, ready to taxi runway 20 here, Charlie. All right, everybody. Normally, we uh, shut the door before we we do the power up, but for today's video, we kept it open. So we're gonna we're gonna shut it before we taxi. All right, so it's one latch there, and then we've got two more latches right here and right there, and now our door is secured. Hey everybody, that was it for this video. If you like what you saw, I'd recommend subscribing, sharing, or liking it. It really helps everybody out. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.